I'm not even 100% sure why this needs to be said, but this is stuff that's been on my mind, so I figured today in this quick video, we're going to be talking about some stuff that's been brewing in my mind. Not losing sleep over, mind you. Like, the only time I lose sleep is when I got to wake up and take a piss in the middle of the night. Besides that, nothing really bothers me too much. But I do see a lot of these comments on my channel with a lot of videos that I do covering different options, different products, as far as retro gaming goes. And I, I find most of it's positive. Most of it on my channel, I get a lot of positive interactions. Um, some not so positive, but usually that's fine. And then I get people who are on this, this weird spectrum of kind of like gatekeeping certain aspects of the retro gaming world. And that's the kind of stuff I find really odd. As an example, I, I post a video talking about the Mega Man Wily Wars cartridge coming out. Big deal for some, not so much for others. Maybe you're in the middle of that. Maybe you just could give two shits. Doesn't really matter, right? It's just something new coming out. I mean, it's old, but it's new. That's coming out that some people may be interested in. I've covered emulation products in the past. I've covered the Evercade, Retro Pie, the Poly Schmegma, uh, PC emulation, all sorts of different options, right? And that's where my channel was born from was uh, emulation and covering options. Just something I'm interested in and I love doing. And anytime I cover an option that somebody just doesn't, like, I, I, I wanna say they understand it, but they play like they don't understand it. And the, the one thing is, is you don't have to justify your options. This goes like a bunch of different ways for me with things I see on my channel. You don't need to justify the way you play if you enjoy the way you play, it doesn't matter what the hell I say. It doesn't matter what any other random person says. Any other YouTuber, somebody on Twitch, your mom, your grandma, your little brother, your, your side piece, whatever. It doesn't matter. If you enjoy playing games a certain way, a certain controller, a certain option, it doesn't fucking matter. You enjoy it. And nothing I say or do or anybody else says and does should take that enjoyment away from you. And I see some people approach it differently where they think... If you don't like an option, or you do like an option that they don't like, then you're personally attacking them. And that's not the case, man. It, it, there's just this crazy stuff, man. People, like, why am I being forced to buy this? I can just emulate it. Yeah, I know. I, I've emulated these games plenty myself. Uh, you know, emulation in some circles gets, like, chastised. Like, it's, it's blasphemous. You should only play with the original media, and I think that's bullshit. Uh, you know, I would never say otherwise. There are certain consoles, as an example, the NES, the Super Nintendo, that I, I don't know how to explain it, but there's just this like deep-seated love for these consoles and the time period that they came out that I really like the physical media behind it. I love taking one of those cartridges, popping it into a system and playing. Is that the only way I play? No. There's plenty of other consoles that I emulate all the time because I don't really want to get into buying those options and I didn't grow up with them necessarily so they don't have as much meaning to me but there is there's a couple consoles I, I love just playing the original media at times and you know that that's just all born to the individual there right it, it, there's no attacks here there's no right or wrong answers I like covering options because it's something I'm interested in and some people will just be like you can't emulate or you shouldn't play original media and to me it's like like or it's not like they say you shouldn't play original media it's more like well why would i do this when i could just download it for free i know i i mean my rom collection is a million times larger than the physical collection that i own i i, I know that right i like to cover options in the sense that not everybody is like me not everybody thinks the same as me but I want to provide value in the sense that my experiences may help some people understand options that are out there, what they accept and what they don't accept. Because some things, as an example, emulation devices that come out and I play them and I review them, I'm not like a scientist with that stuff. I'm just sharing my experience. That's the way I try to approach reviews is I share my experience. Sometimes it's negative, sometimes it's positive, sometimes it's a, a mix in between and a lot of times there's going to be negatives that for me bother me to the extreme and then sometimes they're negatives that i could live with 
And sometimes that will be flipped with you, the viewer who's looking for information or entertainment, whatever the case may be. But if you're looking into an option and I discuss something that's negative and it bothers me a little bit, it might bother you a lot. If it's something that bothers me a lot, it might not bother you at all. That's why I try to share my experiences, just so people can see what it is I'm dealing with. And that leads me to the, the other part of it that I get quite often is why do you review products and like speak negatively about something? It, you know, there's, there's, you know, honestly, there's been quite a few products in the past that have uh, been a joke to me and I just rag on them. And then there's some that are just kind of in the middle. And it's like, yeah, there's all these crappy parts of it. And then there's these positives. And it's more so letting the viewer know what to expect if you're getting into that thing. But I do get those comments that are like, why can't you just enjoy the game? But that's not what my channel is about. Unless I'm streaming or playing a particular game that I want to enjoy, that's not what my review videos are about. My review videos aren't about me just trying to overlook things to enjoy the situation. My videos, as far as reviews go, are about me sharing my experience to try to help others. And I feel I do a decent job with that, even though sometimes I will miss certain things or maybe I won't test something the way you would. And I always welcome that. Bring on the comments, let me know. And there's been plenty of times where I've seen an abundance of comments that are like, oh, you should have tried this. You should have done this. I wonder about this, you know, that kind of thing. Not coming across negative, just like, man, you should have done this. I really would have liked to know. If I see enough of it, like I do a follow-up video or I'll put an update on the video type of thing testing what people had brought up because yeah I, I i you know a lot of times i can't test everything or some things will slip my mind but it's just about my experience at that time reviewing the product and i just find all this stuff crazy with with some people the way they look at things and you know the expectations to get patted on the back for every option that comes out and like i said earlier it's mostly positive interactions a lot of people are just like man thanks or yeah i don't like that either some people you know, I, I don't look at this as a negative interaction. I look at this as a positive interaction. But when people disagree with me, they say, you know what? I I still like this option for whatever reason. You didn't like this, but I, I think it's fine. Like, that's cool. I, I'm not going to I'm not going to beat you up over that. Like, like I said, it, some things will bother me and not bother you. That's just the way it's got to be. And that's the way it will be. But as far as the way any of us play our games, it, it should just be about the games it should just be about the enjoyment buy what you want play what you want and do it how you want if you want to buy products that are sold by companies as far as like reproduction cartridges or emulation devices certain things that matter be my guest if you don't want to do that and you're like you know what i can emulate all this shit on my pc or on my raspberry pi do it like, I don't want to force anybody into anything. That's not what the goal of my channel is. It's just my experiences, the things I'm interested in, that type of stuff, and sharing that with people and people interacting. You know, nobody should force their option on another person as this is the, the end-all, be-all, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make fun of you for playing a different way. You know, I kind of stay away from certain areas of the YouTube retro community because there is some level of gatekeeping in certain aspects of it and for me i don't really understand that i mean there's that kind of crap with every every hobby there is it's just the way the world is and i think it's a joke like if you're into anime like people will gatekeep anime certain types of movies certain comics books wh whatever the fucking case may be they're gatekeepers and i think those people are bad for the hobbies because they could be putting other people off from getting into the hobby and discovering things and learning about different options, learning about different games or shows or whatever, right? I think it's really bad for it, but I do stay away from certain areas of the uh, the retro community world that force their opinions on you and chastise you for being different, for not liking that option. It's like some of those circles, they're gonna draw that community and that's, that's what they're looking for and I just, I'm not drawn to those communities, so I stay away from it and I don't beat them up for their opinions. Uh, you know, I don't go to their channels talking crap to everybody. Like, I don't agree with you. I I, I think you're stupid. Like, I, I don't do any of that. And I, I think it's, uh, you know, a fairly reasonable thing for people to, 
you know, go where they, they, they feel comfortable. And, and, you know, those types of videos, whatever the case may be. But I do see that a lot. And, and it's like, just play the game. Enjoy it. Don't force your options on other people. It's okay to inform others. That's what I do. It's okay to inform others, but to ridicule somebody because they play on the, you know, retro pie instead of Mr. Or they play original cartridges instead of Mr. is ridiculous. You know, any, any which way you want to look at it. Somebody who plays Super Nintendo games on the Nintendo Switch instead of playing via cheaper emulation or on original heart. Like, there's no reason. Fucking enjoy the game. That's what these games were. I mean, these games were made for us to enjoy, but they were made for these companies originally to make money, obviously. But at this point, with how old a lot of this stuff is, who cares how you play it? Just play it. Re-experience your youth if that's what you're into. Don't ridicule others. Like, it's just the dumbest thing ever to do shit like that. And don't expect others to understand why your option is your option. Because some people will just never see it and never understand it. Or they just don't care. It's it's just the way the world is. So the whole point of this video, I didn't really have an extreme guidance on, on how to approach this. It was just shit floating in my brain. And when it starts floating and I'm thinking on it and I'm interacting with people on this, you know what, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it in the video. Get your guys' discussion. Hear what you guys got to say. But overall, that's all the point is. I don't give two shits about how anybody plays their games. Just to enjoy it. That's why I've been, I've been kind of trying to stray more towards uh, doing more content as far as games that I enjoy or games that I've discovered, because that's the kind of stuff I want to share as well. And then also point out, play these games however the hell you want. And a lot of people do appreciate that. And that's why I've been doing a lot of that content recently, finding un like undiscovered to me Super Nintendo games and and sharing that with you guys and doing streams of your recommendations. It's it's about having fun, interacting with you guys, kind of getting you know to know each other a little more as far as game tastes go and all that stuff. But it's about the game, how you get there, nobody cares. Not not here anyway. Other places might, certain people might, and you know, if they're gonna push and push and push and ridicule, uh, we, we ain't got time for that, you know what I'm saying? So really do appreciate you guys hanging out with me today on this video. Give you a big ass thumb butt. Peace out, bye bye, and boom.